Good morning, everyone. How are you doing today? It is Monday, and that means we are going to look at some market across the country that I have no information on. But you know what? My good friend Emil does, and uh, let's welcome to the show. How you doing, buddy? I'm great. Thanks for having me on again. Absolutely, man. Thank you for doing this. You do a lot for the audience, right? You pick a market, you research it during the week, and then we come come talk to it for 20 minutes, and I ask you all kinds of stupid questions. So thank you for putting up with me. Uh, there are no stupid questions, and <laughs> Th thank you for putting up with me because I've done 20 minutes of homework. So I'm no expert either. <laughs> there you go. Well, what market are we talking about today? Today we got Orlando, which was uh, somebody asked about Orlando in our last video where we summarized, I think, oh, 17 cool. markets. Yeah, very cool. I think this is the first time we're hitting Florida. We've we've done Jacksonville. So oh, we did is, Jacksonville. Jacksonville to Florida? Video. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> very cool. All right. So tell me about Orlando, Florida. All right. So our MSA name in Orlando is Orlando Kissimmee, Sanford, Florida. Wow. Say that a couple of times. Okay. Kiss, Kissimmee. Okay. Kissimmee. I think, I hope I'm pronouncing that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> our greater MSA population in Orlando is 2.6 million, which registers wow. at number 23 in the country. I don't know that I would have guessed it was that big, but okay. Yeah, neither would have I. Pretty, pretty large. That spans 4,012 oh, square miles. A lot of square feet or a lot of yeah. miles. Okay. Got it. Our city population in Orlando, about 10% of that, a little north of 10%, 287,000, which ranks it at number 71. Oh, see, I would have guessed that was bigger. Yeah, we've seen, we've seen a lot of like... It, some metros, it'll be like 20%. Some will be on the 10% side, but yeah. we've seen a couple where it's really s small city and then much greater. Big MSA. MSA. All right. Interesting. Okay. And that's, yeah, 105 square miles. Oh, yeah. So, it's tiny. Yeah. Pretty, pretty small, pretty small area. So our MSA population growth, I know people who are tuning into Florida have their eye on Florida and know that it's been crazy out in Florida since 2010. So our MSA population growth, according to census data, this is from 2010 to 2019, 22.2% mm -hmm. growth. Oh my goodness. 22, 20% so growth. So again, right. Was the, what was the MSA? Two point, how much? 2.6 million. So 2.6 million. That means about 500,000 people moved there in the last decade. Yeah. Well, I guess it didn't necessarily move, right? Because that's all birth death rate as well. But it's certainly 350,000 moved there. Yeah. Yeah, huge. Big, big growth in Orlando. The city population growth also north of 20%. Oh, so 20.6% wow. since That's interesting, especially when you consider a very small footprint, right? Yeah. When you have 20% growth in a you know, 44,000 or 4,400 miles, that's, that you know, that probably doesn't, you probably don't feel that, but you had 20% in, what was it, 140 square miles? 105. 105 square miles. You're going to yeah. feel that. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay. Yeah, so that's 20.6 since 2010. Uh, our next stat, unemployment. So uh, I thought unemployment, well, I, I won't say anything. What, what do you think unemployment registered at, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics from March? Florida. Gosh, uh, I don't know. 6.1 jumps out right at the median. So it was 5.4, which oh, point I was shocked. Point below. Okay. You know, Orlando, lots of tourism. I thought it would take a while to rebound. Yeah. I would have thought it would be the hardest hit city or Metro in Florida because of the tourism domination. Right. But even that, well, that's just another sign that they never shut down. Right. Let's just be clear. Right. Florida took a different approach than California. Right. So, you know, you know, for Disneyland versus Disney World, right? I mean, Disneyland just recently opened up and Disney World's been open for a year, I think. Right. Crazy. Okay. And so um, their unemployment actually as of October, 2020 was 8%. So to see it turn around and go to 5.4 in a couple months, it's pretty solid. Yeah. Wow. That December to March. That is great. Yeah. That's yeah. D d what's his name? Desant, Desant, DeSantos, DeSant, something like that. The governor. He, he took a different approach yeah. than uh, our California governor. That's right. Very different. Very Stark different. differences. <laughs> <laughs> Just, yeah. Heads, tails. Very different. Right. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Our median household income as of 2019. Again, this is census data. 51,757. Ah, lower than I expect. I was going to say 55, 56. So 51. 51. That's about what Fresno is. Actually, I think Fresno's 56. So it's even below. Okay. 
is that currently or this is at 2019 data that's when census gave us the most yeah recent it's household. close enough it doesn't usually yeah. change that much it might might be a couple of bucks off but yeah really 51k okay yep so our number of units of housing stock 1.08 million 31 percent of which is renter occupied according to john burns data all right so slightly more owner occupied than uh national average but but not much okay yep so here's the interesting thing, 2020 single family permits. I think a lot of places we've covered have been a couple thousand. Mm -hmm. 2020 single family permits, according to John Burns data, 15,526. Building, that's what that yeah. means. Well, you've, you've got to, I mean, we just talked about 20% population growth. I mean, God, you gotta put them somewhere. That's crazy. Right. Yeah, okay. Yep. So catch, trying to catch up. And so that's up 3.5% year over year. So it looks like they've been building for quite some time. Yeah. Um, Moving on to home price and rent data. So our entry level single family home price. And again, for clarification, that is homes that recently sold for a price equal to 80% of the market's median sales price. Any guesses? It's got to be in the low 200s, 210, 200, 201. Nice. 220, 200, 200, 700. Yeah, two, okay, 220. It's got to be. I mean, the income, I mean, at some point you're just priced out, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. And that's up 12.4% since oh, 2019. Double digit growth. It makes sense, right? Population, job. I mean, it just all ties together, right? Growing a lot, great job, or at least a good job picture. 12%. Yeah, no crash. Remember all those people talking about 40% crash? No crash. Crazy. I remember that. Nice. Yeah. Uh, any guesses on our existing, our existing median home price? Oh, uh, so existing median price, we're going to say is 270? Two, 289, 800. So ah, 290. close enough, 290. Okay. There you go. Yeah. 10%. All right. Our, our median single family rent on that entry level home, which was around 220K, 1,622. Yeah. Yeah. You're not going to get the 1% rule in Florida, I wouldn't think. No, not anymore. Uh, I, I bought a home in Jacksonville in 2017 and you've, you could find a lot more one percenters. Okay. Much, much harder to do these days. Makes sense. Rent growth on an entry level home since 2019. So that has been small. We've kind of seen this trend of, of prices going up, but rent not, not keeping up with it. So only up 3.2% since 2019. Yeah. My spidey senses tell me, watch out. Prices yeah. go first, rent goes second. They're like, it, you know, prices, are, prices will actually start to moderate right when rent takes off. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, I bet you're right. Yeah, it's a whole so affordability our, problem. Yep. Our uh, single family gross yield, so 7.1% in Orlando. That's what I would think, yeah. And our home occupancy rate, I, I thought this was a little bit lower given all the growth and everything. I, I expect this to be a little bit higher, but 91.6%. Yeah, I agree with you. I guess this just points to a lot of second homes. I'm Could guessing. be, very well be. Yeah, yeah. Orlando makes sense. I'm sure mm -hmm. a lot of people vacation there and do all that stuff. So yeah, snowbirds and all that. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. okay. Employment stats. So our top companies headquartered in Orlando include Triple A, Darden Restaurants, and Travel and Leisure, mm. as well as regional operations for KPMG, Siemens, Lockheed Martin, and Deloitte. That's where Disney World is, right, Orlando? Yes. Yeah. That's okay. right. Yep. All right. Cool. Uh, defense employers in Metro Orlando include United States Army Research, National Center for Simulation, Patrick Air Force Base, and Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. Hmm. Cool. And then as everyone knows, our top rated entertainment centers and theme parks abound in Orlando. So those include Disney's Magic Kingdom, Universal hmm. Studios, Disney's Hollywood Studio, wow. SeaWorld, Orlando, Disney's Animal Kingdom and Disney's Epcot. Have you been to any of those? I have not. We went to we went to Universal Studios and uh, Disney's Epcot. I went there like I think eighth or ninth grade. Okay. Yeah, never been there. In the middle of summer, it is it is sweltering. <laughs> it's a depressing. Lot people, yeah, a lot of so you know, there's been this big migration of people out of the Bay into Miami. They are in for a rude awakening. Yeah. In the Enjoy. Of summer hits. Yeah. It's, <laughs> It's going to be a different kind of. Uh, <laughs> so our rental and real estate market stats. So according to Zillow, home values in Orlando have grown by 44% over the last five years. Wow. Amazing. 
Very solid. So that's as of November, 2020. So I'm sure if you, if you, yeah. if we had updated stats, it'd be even higher. Yeah, it would be. A home values in Orlando rose 6.7% last year and are predicted to grow by another 7.4 over the next 12 months. So a little bit less, we've, we've covered some that have been double digit last year and double digit next 12 months. So mm -hmm. it looks like maybe Orlando is, is starting to get a little, yeah, moderating a little bit, but okay. uh, don't take my word for it. Uh, of the 99 different neighborhoods in Orlando, we got Lake Nona South is the most expensive with median home listing price of 564,500. Wow, I would have expecting a higher price for the, the you know A class area, but okay. Yeah, and that's according to um, realtor.com data. Sure. And then South Semarin is the most affordable neighborhood in Orlando with a median listing price of 120,000. Okay. All right. All right. And wrapping up with our favorites, the unuseful fun facts. <laughs> the fun <of> facts. <laughs> yeah, the fun facts. Why not? Because why there you not? Go. So uh, Orlando is ranked by US News as the 16th best place to retire and number 12 fastest growing places, which is just measured by net migration. So yeah. a 20% number is good for number 12. That's interesting. I wonder, why, I wonder why it's so low. I would have I would have thought top 10, but I don't know. I don't know. So I think this this is a U.S. News 2019 or 2020 okay. figure. So I think it might just be like the yeah, last I've, 12 months. No, yeah, I'm not. I'm not questioning it. I'm just. I was actually talking to the 16th most or best place to retire. Maybe it's the weather. Maybe I don't know. Gotcha. Yeah, you know, because Florida is always touted as like the yeah. best. You know, everyone goes there to retire and everything. You think it would be in the top 10 for sure. I would have thought. That's a good yeah. point. Yeah. Orlando is home to more than 100 lakes. Fun fact. I did not know that. And neither did I. I looked it on a map. There are there are lakes everywhere. It's crazy. Hmm. Um, we have 66 million people visited Orlando in 2015, which was more than any other destination in the world. So fun fact from 2015. Yeah, and again, that's why I thought they'd be hit harder on the unemployment, right? Because again, yeah. I I'm guaranteeing you 66 million people didn't hit it last year. <laughs> no, way. no way yeah no way. uh but you know what maybe 66 million people hit it this year right with the with the reopening so yeah, yeah. I, I was shocked at that five whatever it was five seven or whatever it was yeah, five four four yeah four yeah okay cool so that's orlando for us very cool man well this is a lot of fun folks if you have a city that you want us to look at leave comments below we do have one caveat you need to go to roof stock and uh make sure it's a city they cover I believe in my description, there's a little link. Uh, if you end up buying something on Roofstock, uh, they'll send you $1,000 if you register with the link below. Emil, any closing thoughts? No, just uh, still having fun. Let yeah. us know what city's next and we'll, we'll try to cover it. All right, buddy. Thank you very much. Absolutely.